What's up guys, it's Josh here back with another Kansas City Chiefs related video and today we've got a trade idea and uh, it just came out today that the Dallas Cowboys are going to be declining linebacker Leighton Vander Esch's fifth year option meaning he will become a free agent after next season and most likely will not be with the Cowboys. With that being said, right when I saw this news, I instantly thought this is something that the Kansas City Chiefs should look into. Now, I know the Kansas City Chiefs just drafted a linebacker in Nick Bolton, and I love the Nick Bolton pick. I'm a Mizzou fan. You guys know that, so I'm excited about that pick. But Nick Bolton is someone that's better suited as a middle linebacker of the future rather than maybe a Sam linebacker. Uh... Leighton Van Der Esch is someone that can come in and play the Damian Wilson role that he left behind, uh, who is now in Jacksonville. Leighton Van Der Esch would be a very interesting addition if it were to happen and if the Chiefs were to acquire him. But I definitely do think it's possible that the Chiefs acquire Leighton uh, Van Der Esch because the Cowboys, like I said, declined his fifth-year option. Well, why would they decline his fifth-year option? It's not necessarily because he's a bad player. Uh, he has had some issues with health, but we'll get into that in a minute. But they just drafted two new linebackers in Micah Parsons and Jabril Cox, two linebackers that a lot of analysts had in their top linebackers in the draft. And they still got Jalen Smith. You know, they're they're pretty loaded at linebacker right now. So it's kind of like, where does Leighton Vander Esch fit into that mix? And with them declining his fifth-year option today, it's just become even more evident that he's probably not in their future plans. So yeah, I would love for the Kansas City Chiefs to swoop in here. Let's talk a little bit about Leighton Vander Esch as a player, though, and why I would like the addition. So Leighton Vander Esch was drafted in 2018 in the first round of the NFL draft. We all know Brett Veach likes those former first round picks and kind of taking them and turning them into productive pieces for the Kansas City Chiefs. But he was drafted in 2018, played 16 games, and recorded... 102 solo tackles, 140 combined, two tackles for a loss, seven passes defended, uh, and he also had a quarterback hit as well. So very, very productive linebacker as a rookie. Now, since then, he hasn't played all that many games. He only played nine in 2019, and he only played 10 in 2020, and his totals were way down. But, and you know, something I noticed with Chiefs fans in particular is anytime you bring up an idea, and I don't mean to knock on all the fans that watch my videos, but like a lot of times I'll make a video about, hey, what if the Chiefs went and got this guy? Oh no, too injury prone, don't need it, you know, but it's like, okay, well this guy still has talent, and just because he's had some bad luck with injuries doesn't necessarily mean he can't ever be healthy, and a change of scenery might be good for a player like Leighton Van Der Esch, and the Kansas City Chiefs training staff, their medical staff, is one of the most highly regarded in the league, Rick Burkholder, um, one of the uh, best, most successful athletic trainers in all of the NFL. So, you know, that's worth something. And that doesn't mean that the Chiefs bringing in Leighton Van Der Esch would mean, oh, it's a terrible move because he's always hurt. Not necessarily. And he's still on that rookie deal, so he wouldn't be all that expensive to bring in. But obviously the question is, what would the Cowboys want for Leighton Van Der Esch? Honestly, I think a day three draft pick might get a deal done um, just because the Cowboys don't value him all that much. And, uh, I mean, this guy is going to walk after this year in all likelihood, so you're better getting something for him than nothing at all. And also, the Dallas Cowboys are kind of in need of some offensive line help. They could use some youth along their offensive line. We all know the Chiefs have a plethora of offensive linemen now. You know, they've made so many additions that guys from last year, like Nick Allegretti and Andrew Wiley and, uh, you know, players like that, you know, they might not have a spot here anymore. And that's not to say that they're awful players. I mean, these were guys that started for you last year and, you know, were good at times. Yeah, they struggled and, yeah, they were probably playing more than they should have, but they're at least somebody that the Cowboys could use as depth if uh, the Chiefs and the Cowboys are to make a deal involving those players. Um, also, they've brought in a bunch of new guards. Trey Smith, uh, widely considered the biggest steal of the draft. He could be in that guard rotation. They signed Kyle Long. Maybe LDT becomes expendable for a uh, uh, post-June 1 trade, and the Chiefs would actually uh, probably save some cap space, I believe, if they did that. So, uh, yeah, and maybe the Cowboys could use him. So I'm thinking maybe something like that would uh, get a deal done. 
but it'll be interesting to see if the Chiefs actually pursue and show any interest, but if they did, that would give the Chiefs a heck of a linebacker core. Leighton Van Der Esch, Nick Bolton, Willie Gay, Anthony Hitchens, and it probably does take Neiman off the field a little bit because... Leighton Van Der Esch is actually a uh, pretty good coverage linebacker. In fact, there's a stat from PFF on Twitter. Since 2011, only three linebackers have earned a coverage grade of 80-plus while seeing 90-plus targets. And Leighton Van Der Esch was in that top three. Uh, Levante David was the other two. Van Der Esch is pretty athletic, and he's known to be pretty successful covering running backs out of the backfield and that sort of thing. So... If I'm the Chiefs, I would definitely be interested in that. And also, the Cowboys passing game coordinator, Chris Richard, uh, after the Leighton Vander Esch draft pick was first made, he compared him to Seahawks linebacker K.J. Wright. And K.J. Wright is someone else we linked to the Chiefs uh, earlier this offseason and uh, is still a free agent. And Leighton Vander Esch is kind of almost a younger version of K.J. Wright, and he would be cheaper if the Chiefs were to acquire him. So... I would definitely be monitoring this one if I'm a fan, and uh, yeah, I'm wondering what you guys think as well, so leave in the comments, would you like to see the Chiefs uh, show interest in Leighton Van Der Esch? Let me know, but that's all I got for right now, so make sure you like, share, subscribe so other Chiefs fans can find this. Let's get to 1,000 subscribers. We are so close, guys. I'm so excited. We're almost there, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, and make sure you check out my work on showmefootball.com in Arrowhead Attic, but that's all I got for right now. Peace.